Hi, I'm Tom DeShiel, Director of R&D at Matrix Shafts. We're answering some more questions that uh, people on Hackers Paradise gave us after they watched the Shaft Tech series. And right now we're going to talk about CPM. So CPM stands for cycles per minute. It's also referred to as frequency. And the reason it's referred to as frequency is when you measure CPM, you have a system that's like this. You have a shaft that's clamped at one end, and then you put a mass on the other. Uh, the important thing to remember is, uh, if you want to compare uh, the true CPM of a shaft, you need to do it in a raw state and without a grip. Um, unfortunately, there are various different CPM machines out on the market and they all have a different clamp setup. So if you want to compare numbers, make sure you're always using the same setup. So why is it called cycles per minute or frequency? Well, when you have this system of the shaft with a weight on the end and you introduce a force, the shaft will start to vibrate or bounce up and down and the number of vibrations you see in a minute is your frequency or your cycles per minute. Now, the equation to calculate that is, is right here. On top you see you have your EI, which is your section stiffness of the shaft. You have your mass of the large weight on the end. The mass of the shaft itself uh, contributes a small degree but your largest influence is the length of the shaft. That term there is cube, and anyone who has trimmed a club down and checked the frequency on it can tell you that frequency changes uh, significantly as you make that club longer or shorter. Um, if you're using CPM to compare shafts, the important thing to remember is that CPM or frequency is a normalized value. Now, here we have an EI chart that has uh, stiffness profiles of two shafts. One that is stiffer in the upper two thirds of the shaft, but has a soft tip section, and the other shaft that has a stiff tip, but is softer in the upper region. Now, the area under both these two curves all adds up to be something very similar. So the CPM of these two shafts would be very close and that's why you can get the same CPM on a shaft that has a stiff tip or a soft tip. So remember when comparing CPM it's giving you a normalized value for the stiffness of the shaft but it's not telling you where that shaft is either stiff or soft. So hopefully that answered your questions and we'll have a couple more for you.